Good morning, dear children. Today you will learn about digestion in grass-eating animals. So, grass-eating animals are herbivores. They mainly eat grass and other plant leaves as their food. The animals which eat grass have a special stomach to digest the tough cellulose present in the grass. So, grass-eating animals like cow, buffalo are called ruminants because they have a separate part of the stomach called rumen and inside that stomach, they have a bacteria to digest the cellulose which is actually present in the plants, which is present in the grass or plants. So what do they do? After that, they quickly swallow the grass and is stored in rumen where it is partially digested forming curd. Rumination is the process by which curd returns to the mouth in small lumps and then the animal chews it. Grass contains cellulose which is digested by special bacteria present in a sac like structure called cacum between, located between small intestine and large intestine. So let us understand the whole thing through the diagram. So this is the diagram of a cow showing the digestive system. You can see that uh, as I told you, the stomach of a cow is large and consists of four chambers or four compartments. The first compartment of a cow's stomach is the biggest and it is called the rumen. When the cow eats the grass as food, while grazing, they quickly swallow plenty of grass without much chewing and the food is partially chewed and mixed with saliva and stores it in the rumen. As I told you, this is the first chamber of the stomach. The rumen contains cellulose digesting bacteria. The bacteria starts to digest cellulose uh, present in grass. Thus, the grass is partially digested in the rumen. The partially digested food in the rumen of a cow is called curd. Then from the rumen, the food enters into the reticulum. And from this reticulum, again the food goes back to the stomach. Sorry, not to the stomach, it goes back to the mouth of a cow in small amounts or in small lumps. The cow now chews the curd thoroughly. This is why many times we see a cow or a buffalo moving its jaw from side to side and chewing continuously even when it is not eating grass. So I told you, so the process of chewing is called as rumination or chewing the curd. All the animals which chew the curd are called ruminants. When the now when the curd is thoroughly chewed in the mouth of a cow, it is swallowed again. But now it does not enter into the rumen and reticulum, but it enters into the umasam and then goes into abasam. And from there it goes into the small intestine and you can see here the cacum which is in between the small intestine and large intestine. It is a sac like structure where the food enters and the final complete digestion or absorption takes place. And after that which is not able to be digested goes into the large intestine where it is removed through the anus or ingested through the anus. So now for a better understanding, please watch this animation. Unlike humans, all grass-eating animals have a special stomach with four chambers, namely rumen, reticulum, omasum and arbomasum. Let's see the process of digestion in grass-eating animals. The animals quickly swallow the grass and store it in rumen, the first chamber of the stomach. In the rumen, the food gets partially digested. The partially digested food is called cud. The cud is pushed into the reticulum, the second chamber of the stomach, and from here it is sent back into the mouth for thorough chewing. The process of chewing the cud is called rumination, and animals which chew the cud are called ruminants. The rechewed food is swallowed and sent into the omasum, the third and the smallest chamber of the stomach to absorb excess water from the food. In the omasum, the food is broken down to even smaller pieces. This is then sent to the last chamber, abomasum, which is also called the true stomach. The digested food then goes into the small intestine, where absorption of nutrients takes place. A large sac-like structure called cecum 
present between the small intestine and large intestine also contain bacteria that help in the digestion of cellulose, a carbohydrate that is present in grass. So, you now know why cattle keep chewing all the time. Hope you all have understood the process digestion in grass-sitting animals. So that's all for today. Thank you.